I come unto you in the name above all other names, whose secret name of Mark IV is love. And I come to you in the deep, deep, bottomless sea of the adoration of he who has now revealed his ribbon of light from off of his latter-day mountain. And in these days the glory of the Lamb shall come forth where he shall be the desire of all nations, as he has never been. Most hate, hateful nations hate him. They hate him because religion changed his voice, pure and simple. He says to all of us, to every single one keeping their love alive as a child who commit not, uh, commits not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, the unforgivable sin of kicking him out of us, for he is literally our love. And all those who love are born of God and know him because he is love. This is not a verse, this is an absolute law. Just as it is an absolute law, and I hold the scepter of all kingdom authority, Genesis 49, 12, I am Shiloh, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine, red of THC, I smoke a lot, and uh, I quit drinking too, so maybe that's better, not a lot, a couple a day, I live in Canada, it's quite legal, do not uh, judge me lest you want to be judged, so in the truthfulness of this hour, I am one whose soul has been not upright, but the just shall live by my faith, because I have the faith that none of you are any damn good, neither am I. There is no goodness about mankind at all, nor has there ever been, according to Romans 3.10. What is good and what who is good is he who is our beloved, the blessed and the adored, living within us. And I am the alcoholic of Zechariah 3, dry for a couple months, pretty good. Uh, of Zechariah, uh, covered with barf before the Lord, and then he lights one candlestick, not two, um, of Zechariah, not the two of uh, uh, the book of Revelation. Those two candlesticks represent the two witnesses, Elijah and the Moses, who would bring forth a ministry of nothing but death, so much so that the book of Revelation uh, declares that people will be rejoicing when they die in Jerusalem, shot full of holes like Swiss cheese. But I am the Elijah of the one candlestick, the one candlestick of uh, that God actually plugged in for me for seven, eight minutes, was never uh, uh, plugged in. And he gave me that sign to send forth his flying scroll, which has been YouTube for me with 12,000 videos just to start. And in this hour of the glory of love covering the earth as waters covering the sea, uh, as grass covering the lands, as sands covering even the most desolate of deserts, I've been singing the Lord's praises for two years to no ears at all. I preach to white noise mostly. That's because people abhor the teachings of the equality of men. This channel is the most unracist, unbigoted uh, spiritual channel that there is. It is my job in accordance with Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 2 and Isaiah 49.8 to reassign our desolate heritages so we have them not anymore. And it's my job to tear down. Uh, I am the writer of Isaiah 28, line by line, foretold, line by line, precept by precept, with that strong and mighty one come forth as a destroying storm, even as a hailstorm, pulling down distortionality so that the wise might not look through uh, a glass darkly any longer. And so it's time to welcome you to the bottomless sea, the bottomless sea of his adoration, the, the bottomless ocean of his love everlasting. And it is represented uh, uh, an absolute law uh, of his, is his law of love. And I am the giver of the law of love. 
that can never be shattered, that can never be changed, that can never not be enforced, and never has not been enforced. For it is his everlasting gospel of his love. It is his everlasting covenant thereof. And so in this hour, as I grab my coffee, it's time that the word of love comes forth. Malachi 3.1, this is that message that prepares his very own way by his very own unadulterated word that was twisted at the beginnings of mankind because of our lack of enlightenment and uh, no discernment. Truest fact is Christianity stands on the new covenant, which was a covenant that God never uh, was to give until the latter days. It is written in Jeremiah 31.1 that it would be given to Israel. And it is written in Jeremiah 32.27 that he would give it to all mankind at the same time. And for that reason, Isaiah 54.3 declares that they would inherit all mankind. Isaiah 62.2 declares that they would be Chrislam, a brand new name appointed through Elijah, his latter-day Daniel, who I am, Shiloh, same guy. You got to understand names like Shiloh and uh, names like uh, um, uh, yeah, Shiloh is the best example, I guess. Uh, Moses, when he wrote the name Shiloh for Elijah, the end time revelator, the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, I am Daniel, uh, who would embrace his destiny. Um, Shiloh had never ever heard the name of, uh, of uh, Elijah, neither had Joshua of Zechariah 3, the writer. You see, this vision has been written plainly on the tablets for all those wanting to keep the cross of love close to our heart. Everything is backwards. Nothing is as it is truth. Uh, I am accused of being a heretic, and yet all the world ha has been covered by gross darkness. All the world, and I used to be part of it until I resigned, and now I have absolutely no condemnation on any person that walks the earth. And that is all that the Lord wants to bring all of us to that place. The just certainly shall live by my faith. This vision has been for the appointed time at the end, and it has not lied. Behold, he whose soul is not upright, but the just damn well better live by my faith. Because if they don't, this world is toast really crispy and if you ignore this channel you are making the toast burn even more and then for all those with no ears to hear the lord has a shit diarrhea dung crap pie up your nose like a rubber hose till you drink it like chocolate milk and popping out your ears like a fountain of shit uh, on overdrive and so don't do that that's not even nice that's not even christian you know uh, I am one with stammering lips, uh, shocking lips, so I don't give a frig who condemns me uh, because uh, the Lord has set me free uh, and it is my job to be as a little child to lead the world away from the edge of our oblivion. For surely I tell you, verily, verily, I am the only messenger. I And Muhammad said, by the way, there'll never be another important messenger, uh, prophet ahead. Uh, my prophet value is not nearly as high as my messenger, only a messenger value. There's nothing damn good about me or anyone. Uh, Christ Jesus in us alive as a little child. Uh, insofar as born again, uh, Christians changed the rules. They defined it, born again. Oh, they got saved. Yep, they went down there and then they did this and they got saved. Yep, there was lots of people got saved, you know. Uh, no one, Jesus said, uh, can tell about born again. For it is as the wind and you do not know where it blows, he told Nicodemus. And uh, he said, but you must be as a little child. It is written that we cannot inherit the kingdom of God unless we become as a little child. And as we go into the deepest deep of the deepest bottomless ocean 
of the Lord's adoration, we learn finally as the veil is removed off all the nations uh, from the Latter-day Mountain, this Latter-day Mountain of uh, Isaiah 25, uh, the Lord says unto all, wide is the way unto hell, paved by your conditional love that was never loyal, dedicated, and faithful. Uh, love that was never patient, nor was it kind, nor was it uh, um, willing to forgive. Love that has never been love, undivine love of conditional love. The Spirit of the Lord says, where people ascend to be the puppet master over the people that they supposedly love in their lives. They deceive themselves, for they are totally, truly loveless, committing every day a practice that leads only to the unforgivable sin of lovelessness, to cast me out of you, for I am love, declares the Lord, living in all people whose love is still alive, moving forth as a little child. And so what happens, people go into the land of the walking dead, and then they have a form of godliness, deny the power thereof, as they let their love diminish like, a, uh, like the increase of a flame under a frog in water. Next thing you know, that cold-blooded amphibian doesn't even realize, instead of a froggy, he becomes a dead duck because he doesn't even discern the temperature arising. And no one has discerned uh, prophecy arising as I. And yet I am the world's best hidden kept secret. And because of this, this world will be utterly destroyed. No birds, no fish, no mankind left. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 22, that unless his word came forth anew to cut these days short, I tell you truly as Elijah, no, nothing can cut time short except for God's word respected. And no one respects God's word here at this channel, uh, this channel ignored. And so this world will be utterly destroyed. The death uh, of the oblivion of Deuteronomy 18, 18, Acts 3, 21. Uh, uh, Christ said that unless his restoration happened in the latter days, uh, Peter announced, remember what Moses said in Deuteronomy 18, 18? Unless that end time revelator, Peter said, comes forth, then Christ uh, and is heard then Christ is kept in reserve in heaven and cannot return. What part of that don't you fuckers, frigger fuckers understand? If you're waiting for the Emmanuel, our God, with us, you better damn well grab a hold of my message because it removes Satan for a, a thousand years in accordance with, with Revelation 12 that is written for the latter days. I cannot wake people up. People are zombies in their spirit. Even the so-called enlightened ones, like like a House of Beloved. I know she w uh, watches me all the time. I love you, she asks it. But uh, she never comments. And none of them have ever crossed the line to believe that the only thing that will save us uh, so we're not living life to our own detriment, the only thing that will save us is his covenant of the kingdom day age that's foretold to tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations not built solely upon his unconditional love. Haggai 2.2, 2, Malachi 4.6, uh, unless the hearts of the fathers turn to the children, children to this father, uh, all life on earth will be destroyed. So for the love of Christ, people, wake up once and for all. I am who I declare who else would unrelentingly uh, be attacking people like morgue official? Uh, it is written of me in Isaiah 49 that I would be a voice of uh, attack. The arrow of uh, uh, Isaiah 49 that Christ the Lord goes forth as the white horseman of the apocalypse. He has a longbow just for me. I am his messenger. And for that reason, Muhammad said the day was coming swiftly of Chrislam. The day, and by the way, if God did not appoint Israel a brand new name, Chrislam, in the latter days, as Isaiah 62 2 says, God would be a liar. 
Hello? And God it has been made a liar into mankind, for his word unto everyone is, I'm your God, you're my people, I have forgiven you, I will never remember it. That covenant was to be given in the latter days by Elijah. I'm the one that says, hey, uh, the first Elijah came forth uh, saying, hey, somebody got a false God, false God, false God, false God, and the whole world is in anticipation of this guy saying, hey, somebody got a false God, false God, false God. Christians got the truest God of all. They have the majesty of majesties. They have the hero of heroes. They have the icon of icons, the Lord of always, the Lord of love. And yet they twisted him and added condemnation into his mouth by claiming that they were Israel. They stole the books first. And then they said, and all the prophecy is for us. And it was always Israel that the covenant was addressed to and all mankind. So they stole the blessing uh, just as surely as Jacob stole Esau's blessing and tricked their father by deception. Christians did not do this knowingly, of course. It was lack of enlightenment because the covenant that they're all standing on, uh, now comes the shattering of the power of the holy people because it has been revealed uh, that uh, the mystery of God is over Revelation 10:7. And now all nations belong to the Lord because they are, have always, all of us have always been his. There is no one not included in that. God makes no junk. We are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of love. And uh, our Lord wants to shine brightly through us. But we have hid, most of us, our brilliant light under uh, the bushel barrel. And we refused the utter truth that would bring peace in the lands and peace in the world that is only being preached right here, right now. I am Elijah. And nobody gives a frig because they don't believe I'm the guy that uh, should be saying, hey, everybody's got a false God. Well, Christians got the worst God of all. Uh, they got a cult God. And I can prove it in about 30 seconds. So get ready. Buckle up. Here you go. They got a false God because they're God is not the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible is the Lord God who says, I am the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, he's the Lord God of uh, the Hebrews. And he says, I am the Lord God of all mankind, not Christians. I'm sorry, Christians, you are not all mankind. When God says, I am the God of, that means they have favor. Uh, and they have favor because he resides with them. them. He is our love. Literally, other than that, there's nobody any damn good. And so uh, the Christians don't have the God of the Bible. They don't have the Jesus of the Bible. The Jesus, the true Christ, Emmanuel, Yeshua. Jesus never heard the name of Jesus, by the way. He only heard the name of Yeshua. The name of Jesus didn't even come till the 18th century, and it's just been a distortional name. The truest name for Christ is the secret name of Mark 4. His name is love for all those who love are born again and know him who has their love moving as a little child, who haven't committed the unforgivable sin of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, kicking love right out of us. And so in the final analysis, so is it utterly true that uh, the, the God of the Bible and the Christ of the Bible, Christianity does not and has never had. And furthermore, they have a God uh, who has only uh, conditional love. They have a God of the law and the law only uh, hid uh, the mystery of God. All sin is forgiven mankind, Jesus said, Isa Yeshua. Uh, Emmanuel, God with us again soon. All of creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation that we are angel, angels or demon wannabes in the flesh. Jesus said we are gods. Uh, John 10, I tell you truly, uh, the Bible says that we shall be as the angels, neither male nor female. And that's for a very good reason, because the glory of the Lord's latter house is greater than that of the former, and the first are last, and the last are first. And so it's time to realize that uh, Christianity has had uh, a, a false God, big time. He, they got a God who is a sinner, 
God. It declares in the Word of God in three, four places, Google it if you don't believe me, that to be a respecter of man is sinful, and it is a sin. Mankind is sinful as we are. They grabbed the sinner God and who loved them best. Uh, the God of Christianity, if, uh, if everybody doesn't believe that uh, he is loved, he's got to hate them eternally and fry them like a bunch of uh, sizzling worms evermore, everlastingly. And the Bible does not say that at all. The Bible says, I'm your God, you're my people, I forgive you, and I will never remember it. That is the blessing that's always been over all mankind. All the accusation is it comes by a gross darkness that has covered all mankind. Isaiah um, 25 foretells that in these latter days that veil will be removed from off this latter day mountain. So let's recap it quickly. The false God of Christianity is false because uh, he is not the God of all mankind, not the God of Israel. That's the Bible's, uh, uh, it was switched identities. They do not have the right God of love because there's never been such a thing as uh, conditional love that's divine. Fuck, that's a bullshit. Uh, and they certainly got the God of uh of conditional love that is a respecter of men. It says to all people, don't do as I say, do as I do. I can be a respecter of men all I want because I created them and if they don't believe on love, I'm going to fucking fry them forever and ever and ever and get my jollies off on that shit, yeah. <laughs>